Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to construct a deterministic finite automata for the language over the alphabet a comma zero comma one. So the input is of the combination zero and one. So it is a binary string, and we are going to take the binary string, and whenever the input is divisible by three, we have to accept it. Okay. So we are going to take a binary input, and if the binary input that we have taken is divisible by three, then we have to accept it. And one shortcut to construct a DFA for these kind of languages to go ahead with the binary uh, with the reminder function. So reminder function is nothing but like we have to find all possible reminder when you are dividing a number by three. So what will be the possible reminders when you are dividing a number by three? I'll just give you a hint of it. I'll just write down the binary numbers first. I'll take the minimal input. Uh, we start with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Its binary equivalent is. Zero one one zero one 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 zero zero. Since your number, you are going to take it in the input as a binary string. So I am just going to take the binary equivalent of each number and finally we have this. So what is what you will get when you are dividing these number by three? The reminder you are going to get. Okay, when you are dividing zero. Mod three, your reminder will be zero. When you are dividing one mod three, your reminder is one. When you are dividing two mod three, your reminder is two. Three mod three, three is perfectly divisible by the three. Hence, you get the reminder as zero. Four divided by three, your reminder will be one. Five again two. And when you are dividing six by three, your reminder is equal to zero, and it goes on. For seven, it is going to be one. Eight is two, and your nine is perfectly divisible by three. Your reminder will be zero again. See, these are all the possible reminders when you are dividing a number by three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a state for all the reminders. I have the reminder as zero, or one, or two. So these are all the possible uh, reminders I'm going to get when you are when I'm dividing a number by three. And what next is when I have the reminder as zero. What does this mean? What does that means? When it is perfectly divisible by three, I get the reminder as zero. Right? Whenever a number is perfectly divisible by num uh, by the uh, given number, then it is. Uh, you are accepting criteria, right? When I divide a number by three, if I get a zero, uh, zero as a reminder, that is perfectly divisible category. So I am just going to make this as a final state. This is the place where the transition starts, and when the number is perfectly divisible, it is going to be the final state too. Okay, when I get a reminder as zero, it is the final state. Okay, so these are all the basics. Now, what you are going to do? You are going to construct a DFA. So, what does this DFA actually means? From each and every state on each and every possible input, we should have a transition. So, what is the possible inputs that we get, we are going to get from each and every state? Your input is made up of zero and one. So, what we have to do is we have to make a guess on each and every state. What happen if a zero occurs or what happen if a one occurs? Okay, so I'll start from the starting state on. I'll start from the state zero. Zero is the place where we haven't processed any of the input symbol. If I have a zero, when I am dividing zero by three, your reminder is going to be zero again, right? So I'm just going to get it into the same place since if I divide. A number zero by three, the reminder is going to be zero again. So I just stay in the same state. In state zero, I'll like I can just avoid confusion. I can make it as Q not Q one Q two. In state Q not, if I get the input as one, when I divide one by three, what reminder I'm going to get? I'm going to get the reminder as one. So I'm going to have a transition from Q not to Q one if I get the input as one. Okay, so whenever my input is one, I get the reminder as one. So I, there is a transition from Q not when the input is one, it goes to Q one. So Q not we have defined the transition on what happen if there is a zero, if there is a one. Similarly, we have to find the transition of Q one. Okay, so when can I reach Q one? Whenever we start processing an input, 
the processing starts from the starting state so here the starting state is q0 only if you have a 1 i am able to reach this q1 q0 when the input is 1 we are able to reach this q1 so only if i have this 1 in the input i am able to reach to the state q1 and now what we are going to do from the state q1 we have to find the transition on what happen if a 0 occurs what happen if a 1 occurs so 1 is mandatory only it takes one like it takes one to reach from q0 to q1 and that will be followed by either 0 or 1 right now what happens if this input is given to the system so 1 0 its corresponding equivalent is 2 when you divide 2 by 3 your reminder will be 2 again and 1 1 your input is 3 when you are dividing 3 by 3 your input will be 0 so in q1 if my input is 2 it generates 2 as a reminder in q1 if the input is 0 it creates a reminder as 2 so i'm just making a transition here q1 input as 0 it goes to q2 uh, two. 2 is the reminder function and in q1 if the input is 1 it creates a input a reminder as 0 so in q1 if my input is 1 it creates the reminder as 0 so trace it to q0 state q0 state is the place where whenever you get a reminder as 0 i'm going to come into this q0 state okay so this is how we process now come to the last portion of it q2 q0 on input as 0 1 we have found the transition q1 on input 0 1 we have found the transition now we'll come to this q2 state uh, when can we reach q2 in the input if your input is from uh, the processing actually starts from the q0 state right from q0 it takes the input 1 followed by a 0 to reach this q2 the minimum input taken to reach q2 is I have 1 followed by 0 okay only then I am able to reach this q2 so this 1 0 is a default input needed to reach the state q2 and this is then followed by either 0 or 1 right q2 we have to find the transition of what happen if you have a 0 what happen if you have a 1 so either 0 or 1 we have to find the transition so what is 1 0 0 it is 4 when you divide 4 by 3 the reminder will be 1 so what i am writing is the reminder not the quotients okay 5 when you are dividing by 3 your uh, reminder is 2 okay so in this q2 state when your input is 0 it generates your reminder as 1 in q2 if your input is 0 it generates your reminder as 1 so i am going to go to this q1 state in q2 if my input is 1 it generates the reminder as 2 so i am just it is the same state right 2 to itself so in q2 if the input is 1 it generates the reminder as 2 so i am going to stay in the same state okay now it is done so this is a shortcut for finding a DFA, writing a DFA or drawing a DFA for the number, for the binary string if it is divisible by any number. So it need not restrict it to 3 alone. It will work for all other inputs too. When your input is divisible by 4 or 5 or 6, if it is a binary equivalent, you can find all possible reminders and you can draw the states accordingly. Okay. Now the diagram is done. But how can you, like it, we actually made assumptions for a little bit, like till of uh, five input we have taken and made we have made the in dfi we have to go ahead with the verification how you're going to verify it like writing your program and check whether your input is accepted okay you have to take a greater input in that category right so what i do is i'll take one acceptance criteria one rejection okay so first i'll take one input um, which is belonging to the language i'll take this nine okay so the binary equivalent of your 9 is 1001 whenever you want to check whether the input belongs to the language or not your transition should start from the starting state okay i'm going to verify whether this 9 is accepted by this dfa or not 9 is perfectly divisible by your dfa and it generates a reminder as 0 so you the your dfa has to accept it okay we have to be in this q0 state for accepting we'll verify it so we'll take one input at a time how does your dfa works it takes one alphabet and make a transition and it takes the next 
next alphabet and it keeps on moving until the end of your input so starting from q0 when the input is 1 where it goes q0 when the input is 1 it goes to q1 and what is the remaining input we have here 0 0 1 now q1 when the input is 0 q1 on 0 it goes to q2 and the remaining input is 1 0 sorry 0 1 q2 on 0 where it goes q2 when the input is 0 it goes to q1 and the remaining input we have here is 1 now q1 when the input is 1 it goes to q0 and q0 is your final state the remainder 0 it is in the final state the input is accepted after processing all the input symbol when you consume all the input symbol at the end of your input if the transition is in final state we are going to accept it perfect now we will go ahead with other example uh, another example input that might leads into a rejection state let us take 8 so starting from the state q0 i take this input 1 0 0 and check whether the input belongs to the language or not q0 when the input is 1 what it do it goes to this q1 state and what is the remaining input i have here all zeros now q1 on 0 where it goes q1 on 0 it goes to q2 and the remaining input is another two zeros q2 on 0 it goes back to this q1 state with the input uh, uh, with the remaining input as 0 right q1 on 0 what it do it goes to the state q2 and q2 after consuming all the input symbol we are in the state of q2 and q2 is a non-final state what is the meaning of non-final state one single circle and it is your rejection criteria only at the end of your input if the transition is in final state the input will be accepted here it is a rejection criteria the input will be rejected so whatever input you take in a binary format if the input is divisible by 3 surely your dfe will end into this q0 state okay if you take any other input it will not into it will not lead into the uh, final state it will remain in any other non-final state the input will be rejected okay now it is perfectly working thank you